Okay, so we've done chemical pulping and mechanical pulping, and in both cases we have lignin left in the cell wall in the case of chemical pulping. There's a certain amount of residual lignin left because we can't pulp to the, the conclusion where all the lignin comes out because it would pretty much destroy the cellulose in the fibre, which would make the paper very weak. In the case of mechanical pulping, we really don't take the lignin out at all, so it has the same lignin content as it would in the wood. Um, that's going to make a very stiff fibre, uh, but it's also going to make uh, a fibre that's brown, and brown paper doesn't look very nice. We want it to be white. So in order to deal with the residual lignin, we have to use a process called bleaching. And there are all sorts of different bleaching methods, um, bleaching cycles and re regimes that are used <coughs> to take the lignin out of the wood. The one that was most popular for a very long time was chlorine bleaching. It's less used these days because of environmental concerns. Uh, there are all sorts of different chemicals used. Chlorine dioxide is used very commonly. Hydrogen peroxide is used very commonly. All sorts of different bleaching chemicals. I won't go through the list of them. But basically we can divide bleaching up into two types. Uh, one is called lignin removal bleaching where the lignin is actually dissolved and taken out. So that has a permanent effect on the brightness of the pulp. And the other type of lignin bleaching is called lignin masking bleaching. In which case the lignin is left in the wood, but it's chemically altered so that it doesn't uh, absorb light. Uh, and that disguises the fact that it's present. But the problem with lignin masking is that over time you get a reaction with oxygen and the paper turns brown. So the type of paper where you would use lignin masking would be short life paper such as newspaper uh, and what's called pulp novels, novels or pulp paperback books where the book is expected to have a relatively short lifetime before it gets returned to the uh, recycling paper um, stream. Um, and you'll notice very, very quickly when you have lignin masking presently because within a matter of months that paper will turn brown again uh, and that is classic of a lignin masking bleach paper. It's easier and cheaper to do lignin masking. Um, it's cheaper to produce mechanical pulp, so these types of pulps are used for low-end, low-grade papers. But if you want to have high-grade paper, if you want to have magazine-grade paper as it's called, where you want to have a very white finish, you want to have a very smooth finish and a very pleasant feel to the paper, maybe office paper, art papers and uh, magazine grade, as I said, the high-end papers, then you will tend to go for lignin removal bleaching and you will go for mechanical pulp. Uh, sorry, not mechanical pulp, for chemical pulp. And you can't have good quality paper without having at least some chemical pulp in there. So you have to have a virgin fibre input into the paper stream. You couldn't rely constantly on recycling the same fibres over and over again because you would get degradation, what's called downcycling, of that fibre and it wouldn't be of any use. So eventually that all of the paper in that, um, in that cycle would be degraded to such an extent it couldn't be used anymore. So you have to have virgin paper, virgin fibre going in from the forest and out the end you will have some sort of degraded paper. So you have this cycle which is actually a down cycle because you might have the high quality paper here, maybe lower quality paper such as magazine, as magazine grade paper here, uh, news print grade paper here, then you may have other cycles where you might have tissue grade paper where the strength isn't so important. And then right at the very bottom you'll either incinerate that paper or you will um, turn it into something like insulation. So you could go through quite a few life cycles before that fibre is finally either stored in a building as insulation material or it's incinerated to give energy recovery. But you cannot have a, a functioning paper system, paper cycle, without this virgin fibre input. So we have to have forestry, we have to have trees, we have to fell trees and replant them in order to keep this whole cycle going.